Sorry about that, my friends. How are we doing today? And I'm just trying to take it easy because over the weekend, I was definitely sick as ever. So, yeah. Just recovering from a cold. So, yeah. And my throat is going to take some time for it to um get back to normal. So, yeah. Today's pro- All right. Oh, well, hold on. Just one more say. Today, I'm making another art masterpieces video. So, the last one I did was number 16. So... I believe we have reached number 17. So yeah. For today's video number 17, I have I've done a couple lately in store, so because next month is autism awareness month and you all know, yeah. Lately on FB I've been sending a lot of messages to everyone to let them know what the date is coming. Yep. Four two twenty three. You all know what that means. Autism Awareness Day, along with Autism Awareness Month coming up. So if you haven't seen the day the dates on FB, or if you haven't seen them, I mean, keep an eye, look out, because that's when the day comes, and we'll be celebrating along with the month of April of Autism Awareness Month, so yeah. Yeah, so today's Art Masterpieces video considers more number, number 17, part 17, so yeah. And I've got some new ones that have been based on what's coming up next month, so allow me to show you. Alright, the next, the first one I'm going to show you, I finished this one over the weekend, and I need the masterpiece for something to represent April next month, so, this came out really good, and I want to show you how this really turned out as ever, so, I give to you this art masterpiece. I'm going to hold this up so all you loves can see for yourselves. Yep, hold it up so you guys can see for yourselves. I'll just hold it like this right now. Behold the art masterpiece. And you do see the words down underneath the um, puzzle piece. On the left side, you have my face. And then on the right side, hold on, yeah, you're right. On the right, yeah, on the left side. Well, it doesn't matter, so yeah. Well, yeah, on the left side, there's my face, and on the right side, you see half of the blue puzzle piece, so yeah. This one came out really good, and this became a very huge inspiration. Yeah, this one really came out good, and you can see underneath the words saying, Love, Embrace, Exist, Autism Lives Matter, so yeah. Came out really good, and Autism Lives really do matter. We've been through so much where everyone's saying that we will never amount to nothing. We will never get to where we reach as our destination. And I have dealt with condescending asshats who think they know something better about autism. Even when they never took the time to figure it out for the fact that they thought it was just some random retarded, retarded disease that needed to be exterminated. I've been there before, especially when you live in an area like East Hartford. So here we are with me with my YouTube channel as I tell the truth. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. So, I've been there before. Dealing with condescending individuals. Who think they know best about society. When all they do is just erase what's in front of them so they can make the world a better place in their version. Now, I always learned this from my folks. There's nothing wrong with being different. Being different is a very wonderful thing, no matter where you come from in life. And as for those that I remember in East Hartford very much, let this be a let, let this, hear this from me. You're all condescending asshats. Remember that. I've done a lot of wonderful things for the autism community. And I'm proud to stand by its side as ever. Especially right behind there, Zephyr. The autism community need a role model, a guidance, someone to look after them, especially guide them in the right direction, even helping them reach their destination. And I'm so thrilled because the autism community has done so much for me, and I want to give back. You wonder why I'm working at an autism program, and I'm also making a difference on this planet. 
I'm not the only one that's doing it. There are others who are just like me, and they've been in my place before. I've been in their place before, and they can relate as ever. I'll hold this up for a few more minutes, and I will move on to the next one. Next painting coming up. Worked on this one so much. I've done it. I've done these a, a few multiple times, but this means the world to me very much. Sorry about the light. The sun has risen, and today turned out to be gorgeous, so you can see why. I'm just gonna hold it like this. There you go. You guys can see for yourselves. Know how the sun is, as ever. friends. So, uh, sorry about that. No, I'm just going to wait. All right. I've saved the best one for last. And I have a feeling you're going to love this one. So give me one minute. Sorry, just having a moment to myself. All right. Here's the one I've done, and then I think you've seen this before. So, you've seen it a few times, so I figured I did this to me, I did this again because it means so much to me, especially when it comes to someone being a role model, a guidance, especially a, how do I say this, a trailblazing figure who everyone can look up to. That's doing something straight for the community that he loves very much of, as ever. So, yes. Say hello to the painting of my wrestling character, Mr. Autism. Give it a minute, give it a minute. I know it's the lights in the way, so. And here we go. At your service. This is my wrestling character, Mr. Autism, Peter Bridge. Somebody that the autism community looks up to very much as ever, especially when it comes to reaching a destination that he's that he ha is happy to that he is planning to reach. And if you all don't know this, I'm a wrestling fan. Besides watching the WWE, I like to watch other wrestling organizations like. Ring of Honor, Impact Wrestling, what else? Um, Major League Wrestling, which stands for MLW, and other wrestling organizations you see on tel you see on television. And you all know Impact Wrestling, so yeah, TNA Impact Wrestling, so yeah. I've watched other wrestling shows besides the WWE. It may be fun, but the WWE, I feel like. You all know this, the categories and everything, so yeah. And then there's AEW. Sometimes I check out AEW. I'm holding this up. And then after this, I'm telling you about why this means, what April means so much to me. Uh, 
the sun, you know. Oh, there we go. Sorry, the sun's trying to block its way. <laughs> you know what? I think that's good enough for now. All right, my friends. Comes here comes the next part. I'm gonna tell you why April means so much to me. April has played a very important part in my life, especially when the month arrives. With a, how I say this, with a month where we celebrate something as a mas that means a masquerade too much, that means a masquerade to me and everyone else as ever. You have autism playing a very important role in everyone's in every fellow's life. Who knew the tribute of the word different when it comes to being different? I've been through so much on my path, dating back to when I first had autism. I've had it since childhood, and when I found out about my diagnosis at the age of, what, 15? I mean, let's be honest, I had a very, very difficult time finding my individuality. And I'll say like that, it's something we all go through, because you don't know what I've been through. You just, you all act like as if it's nothing. This is where we all, this is something to everyone else because everyone has a very difficult time trying to find their place. And let's be honest, us that have been different, and though the true meaning of the word different, we've dealt with individuals who love being condescending asshats, especially what sticks up their asses and love to insult any other one that gets in their way. Or love to insult individuals who know that they will never, who know how to make them feel like they will never amount to anything in life. I've been there before. The condescending individuals who act like they think they know what's best, except they always cross lines and wonder why things don't go as planned for them. Now you're probably wondering, was I ever a fan of East Hartford? Was I really a fan of East Hartford? Let's put it like this. No. I tried everything I could to fit in when I was growing up. And how that really turned out, I really, I really wasn't a fan of the area. I still live in it as this day, but only time will tell whenever I will leave, whenever I get whenever I get away from me, from the area. Let me put it like this to you. I've been through so much. The autism community has done so much for me when I found out about my diagnosis at the age of 15. I wanted to get back to the autism community. That's why you got me working on a program. First started as a volunteer and then came to the part where I worked there as a clinician, helping the fellows on the autism spectrum try to reach their destination, especially helping them become aware of what happens in the real world. Because let's be honest, the real world is not a very fun and easy place. And there are others who think that they can really take on anyone that gets in their way, but they know that they can't even break what's in front of them because. They think they got it all in their, and they think they got everything in the palm of their hand all figured out, except they don't figure the whole thing out. So when it comes to fellows on the autism spectrum, I want to be aware of what happens when the real world tries to throw something at you, especially when it tries to make you feel like you're at odds and you're and you're against the wall. Here's the thing. I'm not gonna let that happen. I will make the fellows on the autism spectrum feel like they are not at odds, not even against the wall when it comes to dealing with the real world. We all know the real world's not an easy place or a fun place to deal with because it's full of dangerous individuals and many individuals that will try to take advantage of you as ever. Day back when I was a child, I tried everything I could to fit in. I remember the first time I moved to East Hartford in the late 90s. And then we headed to the early 2000s. I remember how I went from one school to another. And let's put it this way. The school I went to after my time in first grade at a school that I happened to somehow know of. The school I went to as I headed to second grade was neighborhood related. And let's be honest. I lived in a neighborhood that used to be peaceful and quiet. But times have changed. And, and they really did as the years went by. The neighborhood used to be peaceful and quiet until everything changed when you had so many individuals who don't know what to do with their lives. 
and you try to wonder how did everything change so fast in the quick of a flash? Let's be honest. Nobody wants to own up to their mistakes. Nobody, and I repeat, no one wants to abide by the rules. Let's just be honest. Rules are just... But no one really wants to own up to the mistakes of what they've done to others and make them feel like they will never amount to anything in life. Even making others who are different happen to feel very unwelcome. Even if it comes to anyone that's on the autism spectrum. I remember the autism community had done so much for me and I wanted to get back, letting them know that they were not alone. I was always right behind them, 120%. And I have always had their back. I always had the autism community's back as ever, even when they felt like they were at odds or against the wall dealing with the real world. I always made them feel like it's them. They are not alone because I'm always there for them, which is the best part about having someone by your side. Let me ask you, if you ever asked me this question, was there any was there any schools I was fan that was related to East Hartford? Let's put it like this. Was I a fan of Mayberry Village Mayberry School? <laughs> when I laugh, you know that I never was. Was I a fan of the other school as I was a teenager, which would be East Hartford High? I w I'm gonna laugh if I laugh, you already know the answer to that. I never was. Okay? Was I a fan of middle school? Middle school, I felt comfortable because you had someone right beside you as ever. But the second I got to high school, like I said, everything changed in the in the quick of a flash. When the time I came to graduate, I was like, praise the Lord. And if you ever think I was going to come back and visit, you may want to think twice because that was never going to happen. The only time I went to go visit that hellhole was someone that kept me in check, kept me on the right path. The last thing I wanted to see was someone like me, just, what's the word I'm looking for? Just give to the ground very quickly, but that wasn't going to happen. I stayed where I was, despite the fact, it was a wreck, you know what, I stayed where I was and got out of there. There were some teachers I didn't care, but there were others that I could care less about. Just wanted to be paid by the hour and get it over with. Even when it comes to fellows who are on the autism spectrum, they could care less about that. They already know autism very well, but they don't know the whole thing about it. You look at autism like it's some dangerous disease that needs to be exterminated, eradicated, even, what's the word I'm looking for? Eliminated, just to have the world the way that you want it as ever. I've always learned this from my family. There's nothing wrong with being different. Being different is a very wonderful thing. And I've always lived up to that as ever. Being different is not only a wonderful thing. Being different makes you feel very special, no matter where you come from in life. And I've always saw autism as a blessing. Because I can be my own character and not follow the same path that everyone wants to follow in them wants to follow in these days. I rather stand out on my own and be my own character and not be some asshat who just wants to take the easy way out and then put someone down because he took the easy way out just to be or just to be where he or she wants to be as ever. So I'm gonna put it like this to you now. April is coming soon. Especially the day of four twenty two twenty three. Uh to tomorrow in this day. I'm gonna throw this in right now. If you have a loved one or know someone that's on the autism spectrum, I would say, as I've heard a lot of fellows say this, be patient with them. Make them feel welcome. Do not make them feel unwelcome. If you try anything to make them feel unwelcome as if they don't deserve to be welcome where they're at, then let's be honest. You're the opposite of a better human being. You're a worse human being. And that goes double for the assets I've dealt with my entire life. Being a better human being is making someone feel very welcome, not making them feel like as if they're going to feel unsafe and unwelcome. You rather, I mean, hold on, sorry. Being a better human being means you look after those that you really care about because you've been in their place before, especially when it came to being different. And like I said, being different is a very wonderful thing. Being different makes you feel very special no matter where you come from in life. 
Autism has always played a very important part. And I'm very thrilled that this blessing was in my family. I don't know if I told you this, but it has definitely worn in my family as ever. My uncle had when he was growing up. Nobody at his during his time knew what it was. Then we go to my stepsister, come from my father's side of the family. She had it, and then when it came to me, I was very I was very surprised really because, like I said, I had a very difficult times finding my individuality. And I bet that meant, and I bet that for years, many people didn't know what autism was about because they thought it was just something that made everyone feel like what they always said. The one word I had never liked, retarded. That's a very, that's a very disrespectful word. Not only disrespectful, it's insulting. And I also see it as a degrading thing to make someone who is different feel non-welcome, unwelcome, and not even special as ever. And I'm going to tell you this, the autism community is not alone because I'm there for them. I'm there for the autism community. And they will not feel left out as ever. So when April comes, I want you to remember this. I want you to support someone, love someone that has autism. Make them feel welcome, be patient with them, and don't make them feel unwelcome or unsafe. Because if you do, then do your ass as a favor and go somewhere else where no one wants to deal with your nonsense crap. I've been there before. That's why Autism Families Connecticut, I'm there for them as ever. I have their back, and they're not alone. I love being a clinician. Started as a volunteer, worked as a clinician, which I love very much because everyone loves coming to see me. Because I'm always, I'm always there for them as ever. So I hope you all learned this. Come April, you can do, you could, you have two choices. You can either make someone feel unwelcome and be patient with them. Oh, well, hold on. You can make someone feel welcome and be patient with them, especially those on the autism spectrum. Or do the autism community a favor and take a hike. Means don't try anything nonsense. I mean, don't try anything crappy or shitty just to get your day started. I end this right here saying this. 420, I mean 4223. Autism Awareness Day is coming. And as I say this right now, this ends today's Art Masterpieces Part 17 video. I'm going to say one last thing. Thank you. Thank you for your time with me.